Yo, what up, YouTube? I have a great video for you guys today, and it's another ranked thought process video. This was a little different, though. Um, this one will kind of help you guys out when your teammates die. Okay, so beginning of this, pretty much, you know, my teammates and I, we're, we're popping off together. We're, we're getting a lot of kills, assists. And then halfway through the match, they both go down, and I'm stuck solo. So I'll pretty much be going over my thought process when I'm solo. Um, it's not like a full solo gameplay, of course. It's not me playing with random solo. It's not me playing solo the entire game, just no teammates at all. Um, it's halfway through. A lot of us have been stuck in this position before, and it sucks. But, you know, I'm going to give you my thought process, why I focus certain teams at the end. Um, there's not a lot of comms in-game, so it gives me a great opportunity to actually voice what I was thinking because I was just, I was me mugging the screen silent as all could be just focusing so give me a good just again give me a good chance to actually say like say what i was thinking at that time so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully this whole glare situation doesn't annoy all of us like it does me you know all right let's get it get it get it Again, we're still in uh, plat lobbies, but this was two weeks when the game, uh, when the new season came out. Uh, this is still all the same day, so all the other thought process you see is from the same this same day. Um, so it was like four days after I came back from you know my getting married, you know honeymoon, all that stuff. So I was still trying to get crispy at the game, so learn it. Um, Cascades. I got a ping it because I don't it's know a fun place to land for me. My teammates shit. hated. Right. Last time I did um, this race, I, I thought it was right there, but it wasn't. But yeah, That's Cascades is it goes yeah. crazy. Cascades is a little wonky to land yeah, at because of how many teams can land there and how many teams yeah, land yeah. around there to third party it. So I, I highly do not recommend landing here. But uh I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. My teammates hate me whenever I land here though. So again, I grab the shotgun and I immediately just bubble forward just because I know she's going to start shooting at me immediately. Um, a key to landing in this place is to land with your teammates. Honestly. Always land on the same side as your teammates or the building right next to because these buildings are honestly just... They're wacky to fight at, honestly. There could be a building between you and your teammate, and your teammate can just die within seconds. And the reason, again, the reason why I went ahead and said I'm not going to heal the blue shields a waste is because there's not that many shields off the start. And I know I need to heal up my raw heals anyway, and I need to hurry up and like get into the fights and stuff like that. Like right here, if I if I would have stopped from taking one of my syringes, I probably could have knocked this uh, loba. He got out. Right here, as soon as I heard that, I wanted them to hurry up and rotate out this way towards these other buildings, because I knew there was going to be another team pushing us. But now I know that my team's already stuck in there, so I have to turn around and immediately help them. So I know I can easily take this back way, honestly, and just flank him. And I just, just that against the Gibby, and I'm able to just chase down the Octane here as well. So that was honestly like a huge landing spot. Um, Loba is still on the run. My my team and I, we, whenever we normally land here, um, there's normally an argument. <laughs> because they, they, again, they hate it. But, you know, if you can come out on top of this place, uh, you're looking pretty decent with RP. Like, we're not even in any running for, like, rank, like, uh, I guess squads left, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, like, top 13, top 10 is when you start getting points for, uh, placement, I should say. Gotta find the work, holy. Um, because we're only 16 squads still left, and I'm already at zero RP. Um, so anything after this, I start gaining RP, which is huge. Do you hear her? And the reason why I think she went this way is because in my head, I, I think about where would I go, you know? Um, yeah. I would literally go this direction because I know those bends right there are absolutely huge. 
And if this team, aka us, is not really chasing or they're not close enough, I might res my teammates right there if those bends are looking really good. Um, so it was a smart rotation by her. Had no idea where she went. Um, no idea. She probably hid in a corner somewhere, no for all I know. Um, that's the only thing that sucks about not having a Bloodhound. But again, yeah, just the only way to like to really think about what other people are doing is what would you do in that situation, you know? Just think about that, and you can pretty much predict a lot of what people are doing. Uh, again, I was able to predict that she went that direction, and she was pretty much looting the bins. And those bins are really good. Um, I think there's three up top, three on the bottom. And you can normally get like purple shields, blue shields from those consistently. I know I normally do whenever I loot them. Um, so it's really good to loot. Like if you lose cascades, I highly recommend checking out those bins. Um, if, especially if y'all are rocking like a white, two blues or something like that, you're probably going to get a shield over there. I don't know if y'all can hear this wind. It's absolutely incredible. But yeah, right here, I took the longbow over the Eva. It's because I sent the Eva's trash now. And I don't want to use any other shotgun except for the PK. So I pick up the longbow. I see the flatline. I pick up the flatline over the rampage. And the reason I'm doing this is whenever I use shotguns, like really close range weapons, I normally like to run a long range kind of weapon like a, a rampage, a hemlock. Um, I still use flatline a good bit. But I find myself picking up those kind of weapons yeah, yeah. for range just because I feel like it's necessary and needed. Um, but since I picked up the longbow, I know that the rampage is not going to be useful at all to me anymore. And I might as well pick up the flatline for that close range combat, especially for bubble fights. Flatline's huge in bubble fights. Flatline's actually just really good just in any situation, honestly. Some of these fights, you'll see that. Mikey, use all and fly around this. Actually, one of these fights, you will see it crazy. And right here, I, I told uh, Mikey, a.k.a. Hey, Blastoise, to go ahead and just use his alt and fly around us just to kind of see if anyone's around. Um, Because when you have this downtime... Aim there, porting. Yeah. When you have this downtime and you have a Valk, you're not trying to rotate. You know, you're middle of the circle. There's no rotations to be had. You're not getting pressured by anybody, so there's no point in trying to escape him with the alt. So the best thing, instead of him just sitting on his alt, just to go ahead and use it. Um, so whenever I have a Valk on my team, and we're in situations like this, I will tell them to go up, fly around pretty much in a circle, and see what's going on. And he did see a team, he called them out where they are. So now we know in our heads uh, where a team could possibly come from, and to kind of stay guard from it. Right here, I just found out that uh, they changed the ammos for the crafting. I didn't realize it was... Uh, at this time, I didn't realize they upped the price. And I didn't realize why they upped the price. And it's because you get a full stack of ammo, which is huge. Um, and it's only cost technically five more. Of course, it used to cost ten. But that was because it was five each. And now it's ten for each weapon. And a full stack is just incredible. Really? actually given i think you get more though yeah you get more you get a full stack actually so yeah full stack's huge this, this sunlight's getting crazy i like that more i'm a big fan of that i'll take an extra what an extra five just get a full stack bro fuck it that's worth um right now i'm at a bad point she's with my longbow is it, it's it's down bad right now I need to find a scope for this fucking thing. Yeah. I did not want to take that fight at all, especially how far away they were. It's because I like to you know, poke damage, you know? Do some damage before we even push. And I don't have a scope for my longbow. And it's not worth fighting, honestly. Um, it kind of sucked at this point in time that I didn't have a scope. But I am committed to the longbow game because snipers on this map, guys, I'm, I promise you, it's huge. Let's go. It's a game changer, especially for ranked. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to loot this. And then we're just going to start rotating. 
And the reason why I want to loot this is, again, I'm trying to look for a scope. Um, it's definitely needed. Uh, I feel like I'm really decent with a sniper. And I feel like that changes fights. Yeah, as soon as I get the scope, I'm, I'm pretty much right then and there. I'm ready. They're still fighting. They've been fighting over here for a long time. That's why we uh, rotate over this way. Fossil's out here trying to climb on buildings, be a revenant. The reason I don't shoot right there is for the reason that I didn't want to miss. And I didn't just, you know, if I would have hit him anyway, I wouldn't have done that much damage. So I might as well just save from shooting him. Make sure our location is not shown yet. And just go ahead and just keep third, uh, third party in it. Missing like a bot lord now. This was a mistake by me by just trying to keep sniping for so long. I should at least got to this rope and then start sniping. Because uh, I was so far away from my teammates. So I went ahead and risk taking the rope, which was sketchy, um, to help them out in this fight. Um, so that was a big mistake by me, and I got off lucky with it. Alright, right there is a Valk on the door. That is the teammates to the people that are about to kill my team. Um, so, Blast Whistle goes down. Rip Current's about to go down. And right there, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. I normally don't pause these that much because uh, of how long they are. So the reason I didn't turn around and help my teammates is for the simple fact that I knew this person was their third. And if I want to turn around and help my teammates, I'll be fighting a 1v2 with their teammate behind me. I might as well just take the 1v1. And I don't know why that when I threw the arc star and I meleeed them, I thought I was going to melee them off, but it did the weird... If you guys meleeed before, sometimes you get a weird animation where they actually go behind you for some reason. And that's what happened. He got all the way up top of the rope. I went to melee him off so I wouldn't get hit by the arc star and he'd just fly off the, the ship there. But no, he... Flew behind me, and I got lucky that I didn't get take too much damage, and I was able to knock him as well. So that's why I didn't help my teammates because I knew that was their third. So I throw alt just to kind of distract. Again, you can use your alt for more situations and just get kills. Um, this I use as like a zoning thing, so I could take a full phoenix, which a phoenix takes forever. Uh, right there, I got lucky that Ash used portal. So there's still two teams, by the way. One team fully dipped, though. But I thought everyone left, so I went to res him. Um, I started hearing footies. And then I get scanned. And this clip right here, you guys will see this on one of my videos I'll have at the end of the video. Just beamed. Another one fell down where Gibby was? And Rep Current's making huge calls by saying exactly where people are and stuff. Uh, which is very helpful, honestly, as a knock player. And I was honestly using him as bait the entire time in order just to stay alive. And right there, I just left my bubble fully. I know I couldn't say in it. Found more. And it's just, a, it's all about just mobility. Just keep moving, especially in these 1v1 situations. Is don't be predictable. Somebody get this man! something you're about to die <laughs> i don't know how i lived that my controller swapping skills is below average um because it my my looting skills suck so i don't know how i got that off um but that whole fight i break it down a lot more in another video that i just posted um, I have that, of course, linked at the end of this video where i go fully in depth of exactly what happened I said I need a raise. 1250. Um, <laughs> here I make a mistake though. I'm not gonna go too much in that fight. I'll just you know say that for that video. Uh, this is strictly just for kind of rank thing. Um, I was hype. That was a clutch 1v3 situation. I should not have rest him here. Um, 
Yo, that Gibby but got one, one yes, clip, that bro. Got one clip faster than I can't focus because I'm being loud in, yeah, in game. Holy. Press this fucking bubble in time. No shot. Either way, um, I tell Rip to go ahead and get a lot of heals here because there's no way we're going to both live if we don't have a bunch of med kits. I'm let you fend for yourself, Grace. Loot and shit. Um, but he messes up. I don't think he gets a lot of med kits, and I think he times it wrong. Um, but this was the safest spot to get him. Uh, later, I make a rotation to Antenna where I could have actually res him there. But it was probably best that I didn't because if I res him Antenna, a team might have just ate me and I just I would have died. Someone had a spitty. He had this that bloodhound. Um, so it's best just to uh, spawn him there. Him get a lot of heals. All that bullshit, the red and green. But no, there's the red one. When you're stuck in storm like this. I do highly recommend just getting a lot of med kits. Yeah, just don't worry kit. about it. Like, you can have Honestly, six med kits. Um, you know, drop cells for it. Drop ammo if you don't need that much ammo. If you have nades, definitely replace the nades first. And I decided to go this direction because... The other way was, like, towards Jurassic Park area. And it's just like a it's middle of the zone where a lot of people are trying to rotate. And I knew it was best for me to go ahead and chance going this this direction. And here we only have twelve seconds left until the circle moves again. Which is not a good look for Reese right now. Yeah, he missed time to make it. Now it's chunking damage. Yeah. She missed time, man. Unfortunate, by the way. Again, because I could have got him right here. Um, and he would have already been up. And we would have already been kind of rotated out. Because the time it took for me to climb on top of the, the boxes I on the ship. And then finally res him. I could have already been rotating this way, and I could have res him right there, and he would have been safe in circle. But again, another team could have saw that, and we could have got aped with him having nothing, Wait, I kill the and me guy? having a longbow uh, flatline, and it would have been fun. Was that even a different game? I don't even know. So for a while now, I, I pretty much at the ship is when I start, you know, being solo. Of course, I rezzed him, but he wasn't able to really. Get full health, so I wasn't able to really fight with him or do anything else. So this pretty much starts the solo journey, um, which sucks. We all been in the situation where teammates go down, and now you're stuck here in this this situation where you're solo. Um, I have seven kills, one assist, so I'm looking good KP wise, RP wise. I have 86. Am I the only solo? <clears throat> And the reason why I go ahead and just risk just running out now instead of just hiding is because I have a longbow. Um, I want to start poking at people. And yeah, I get even more height just by climbing up. And it starts the poking process. Sometimes it's good just to go ahead and hide. Um, other times it's good to help other teams grief teams uh, in order for you to live and rotate. Um, in this Gibby team... Even though I'm missing like a bot, this team is a team that I just need to get out of my way. Honestly, it's the only way I'm going to be able to rotate. Um, sadly, I miss so many shots. But I really did want them to push me. Just because I have this high ground, I'm able to look down the hill. Because I have to run up a whole hill. And I have a long one, a flat line. And I feel pretty confident in myself to hit my shots. Just to take that fight. Um, but for some reason, they never push me. Um, I still don't know why, but it, so that's this is a good reason of why you should make a presence of where you are, um, especially if you have huge height advantage like this. And now I know I can get these two teams to fight. So I throw alt so I know I can rotate my left side. And I go ahead and destroy the uh, the spider nest just to block off my right so no one can flank me from the right. 
So they're kind of forced to take the fight with the Gibby team. So somehow I found this climb up. Don't know how I got up it. Um, and I hang out here just to figure out where I'm going to rotate and where is safe. And I see that team is shooting down. So I know there's a team to my bottom right. But again, I forced that team out of this area because of my ult. And I made them fight the other team because, you know, the other team was fighting spiders. So, honestly, I did a really, got, really good job of baiting both teams, pretty much. And here's a matter of just panicking and finding cover. So I find a box. And now it's just pretty much sitting here and, uh, again, just poking whoever I can. I missed a lot of shots on the Octane, but now he knows I'm present. Now he knows not to really peek this way or he's going to get shot by me and the team across from me. Another big thing is I know I need to get rid of this fuse. And they have a team on top of the building shooting at them as well. So they're kind of stuck over here. So if I force this fight, now I know that they're going to get pushed. Um, and I go ahead and take a back because I know I'm going to get hit by the, the fuse clusters. Um, so it's good... Good baddage. And right there, if you didn't tell, I actually missed this in game. There's a team is rising right there. I had no idea because you see, I was looking at my health right here. I was looking down here. So I never saw this team rising or I could have um, poked at him a little bit. But he saw me the entire time he was rising. That's why I got shot as soon as I went to go start shooting them. But it was, a, it, it was actually a good thing because I was able to block the fuse cluster as well. And now I see that they're fighting and I just keep putting pressure on this fuse because he was annoying me. And I need to get that team out the way so I can rotate. He would get a free knock right there. And now that team is wiped. And I did, want, I did what I wanted to do. I pretty much grieved that team and helped out the team that was behind them. Oh, that's just another team out the way. Now there's four squads left. That's your job as a solo. If, if you're not just hiding, if you're poking at people and you have a really good spot like I do, poke at the people that have a disadvantage just so you can, you know, you can get higher up in um, placement. Right here, I knew the Bloodhound was getting focused. I thought he was lower than what he was, but it was still good shots. And now I have free shots on Octane. And it's just, again, it's griefing teams that, I, that have a disadvantage against others. Um, it would be smart to kind of fo focus a better team, but you're not going to get any higher placement, uh, cause that team's just going to slay out and you might as well just grief the other teams, get kills for yourself and just get placement. So all this is, I'm just crouch walking, making sure the teams that's slaying out doesn't hear me. And I'm just waiting until I get, uh, top two, honestly. I just got my kill. Second place. Now I know I'm about to fry out. I feel like I'm about to 1v3. And I just get immediately shut down. Um, they, one of them jumps over the Thermite. GG's. And that's a, that's a GG, honestly. GG's. It was... uh, Fuck. I didn't have a chance there. Uh, I kind of wish I could have like at least you know shot a few more bullets. Or maybe knocked one of them. Felt like I had a chance. But no, I just got shut that's down immediately. These guys were slaying out. If you guys watch this whole thing back, these guys were in the kill feed a lot. Um, I knew that. So, it was fun. Uh, and I feel like I focused the right teams. I got a good bit of KP. Nine kills, ten assists. Honestly, solid. So, I I pretty much carried that way to um, second. And it's because I focus the right teams when need to be focused. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy. Much love. Yo, I hope you guys enjoyed the YouTube video. Again, you know, this is kind of one of those situations where we've all been in, where we've had to play solo to kind of clutch off of the team. And hopefully this shows of how you can kind of help your team get even more points, you know, placement wise. And it kind of shows like if you're actually kind of aggro, and you're not just camping in a kill uh, in a building and hoping people don't push you. If you get like a good spot like I did, and you're able to sort of focus everybody and kind of grief a lot of teams, 
um, you can find yourself getting more placement points and you can also get kills here and there as well. And that's why I highly recommend the longbow and stuff like that is because it can easily pick off a lot of people from far range and there's nothing they can do about it. Because, you know, you're, as soon as they start shooting at you, focusing you, you can just hide behind cover and they can't push you because other teams are focusing them. Um, so it's just a good overall thing to think about. Um, it's good strategy as well, just to just kind of be annoying, I guess. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed the YouTube video. Hopefully it helped out a lot, especially, you know, when your teammates die and you have to solo it out. Um, so yeah, much love, much appreciated and see you guys in the next video.